Okay guys, we're going to check out the Fuel X5 today. Heading into work and we'll see what it looks like when we get there. It's pretty impressive, the new color's out, so hopefully this will be a first look for most of you. And here it is, the Fuel EX5. They have spec this one really good this year. They have the 1x12 Dior, brand new for this year. Um, an X-Fusion shock on it, and then the Rock Shocks Recon. So overall, the part spec for it is pretty excellent. You do get the big 27.5 by 2.6 on the small frame like shown, and then you get a 2.6 again on the on the 29er as well. Overall, they have done an excellent job with this bike. I mean, to be able to get a RockShox Recon, now plate pack is starting, to get a RockShox Recon with Deb on air, uh, me and she getting a really good front fork to it, good performance out of it, 140 mil travel. The X-Fusion is gonna be respectable for what it is. You know, not as um, fancy with the climb trail descend modes, but you do have the two options for a trail and a, a more locked out mode, as well as an easy adjust style up at the top here. Infinite lockout here, so you can adjust the compression, which is really nice to a a certain limit or fully locked out and then to also have that nice little transex dropper post on there looks super good cable running is super clean this year goes underneath the shock and then comes out these new tab holes here so it's just gonna have less chance of rattling it's also gonna be easier to maintain and run the cables for future maintenance and such but the fact that they've got this nice simple 1x12 setup on it, they did put a 30 tooth on the front here, you can go up to a 32. But honestly, for an entry level full suspension, this is pretty amazing. You do get the minnow link as well, so you can flip that chip and make it a little more downhill ready. I really think the big upgrade you could do onto this bike is a bit better of a brake set. This shares the same brake set as the Merlin 7, so it's pretty respectable with the MT-201s. Yeah, looks really sharp in this new color as well. So a few things that are different from the Fuley X5 to 7. Apart from the part spec switching to the SRAM, and the suspension switching, the big change is the Fuel X5 does not come with tubeless ready. So you would have to upgrade your whole rim as well as the tire to get tubeless ready on this one. I don't think that's that big of a downside. Tubeless is nice, but it's not the kind of end of the world. As with the aluminum frames, no integrated storage. So yeah, that's the Fuel X5. It's a pretty impressive bike this year. I think for anyone looking to get into a bit more serious trail riding, you're gonna have a really great time on this bike. You know, to jump from $1,000 at the Merlin 7, get a similar power spec with the 1x10 Dior instead of the 1x12, to jump up another $1,800 Canadian-ish, um, you're getting a really big improvement and it's gonna add a lot of features, a lot more comfort, just a bit more trail ready than what the Merlin is. See, so yeah, I think if you're in the Merlin series right now and looking for an entry-level setup, the Fuel X5 is gonna be your go-to, whether you're in the Merlin 7 or older models with the multiple gears, jumping to the two by, or jumping from the two by to the one by is gonna be a really nice feature for you. You get the 12 speeds. You really check in every box of what a trail bike should be for 2021. And I think Trek's done a really good job with this. I think it's gonna have some good performance values out of it and still hit a super good price point. Other cool little features is you do get the removable tool now. So it keeps it looking clean up front. 
you can take this out and this actually undoes the front axle as well and then it stores in here with a press fit um, afterwards overall weight it's not too bad um, you're coming in just over the 32 pound mark all right guys thanks for watching that was the first look at the new 2021 fuel ex5 like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and if you are interested in the fuel ex5 or if you think you'll be getting the fuel ex7 or 8 for 2021 comment below what are your opinions Whoa. on it should we see this again um thanks Wrong guys here. good luck nearly threw myself off <laughs>